Every time we try to film in a CNC machine, this ends up happening. Or this. It really slows our productivity when we have to keep wiping the lens off with the rag. So we came up with a solution, an air knife that we control remotely that keeps the GoPro lens clean. In this video, we'll tell you how to make it and where you can download the design files for free. We got this idea from Peter Stanton over at the Edge Precision channel. We've linked to his version in the description, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to his channel. We modeled the GoPro Super Suitcase and our air knife in Fusion 360, which is available for free from Autodesk. We love Fusion 360 because of the integrated cam, but it's also a good parametric CAD program. You can download the CAD files for the air knife and the GoPro case from our website. We've linked to the companion blog post in the description. There's a couple of features of the design that we want to highlight. The entire design can be 3D printed without support material. We achieved this because all the overhanging features have an angle of less than 45 degrees from the vertical. This internal passage can't really be machined, so 3D printing is perfect for this part. Another important consideration is the distance between the quarter inch inlet and the slot exit just adjacent to the lens. We want as even airflow across the width of the lens as possible, and if this diverging angle is too extreme, the flow will detach from the internal passage at the edges. This will cause it to lose a lot of energy in the form of turbulence, and the airstream won't clear the lens as efficiently. In this design, the angle is less than 5 degrees, which should keep the airstream fully attached. We 3D printed the design in tough PLA, which took about 8 hours. We used a solid infill and a 0.1mm layer height. To ensure that the inlet hole was round, we admitted this feature from the print, then drilled it later with a quarter inch end mill. We used plain old quarter inch vinyl tubing from the hardware store. About 20 feet of length was right for our machines. We glued the tubing into the hole we drilled with super glue. We also used a couple of adhesive felt pads to provide some friction between the air knife and the super suit, and give a bit of compliance to help with the tolerancing. We didn't want to rely on the adhesive backing of the felt, so we added a dot of super glue to the back of each one to reinforce the bond. This gave us the perfect amount of friction between the air knife and the case. We routed the tubing out of the machine via the access hole that's used for the Renishaw probe detector. We made a handpiece that allows you to power the air knife from the Haas air gun, which has a quarter inch tube. We turned it from aluminum, but you could 3D print this too, or even connect it directly to shop air. Here you can see us testing with the coolant hose. It works well both clearing intermittent splashes as well as a continuous stream of coolant. In this shot, we set the GoPro very close to a big face mill that has coolant spraying on it. Right now, the air knife is off, but when we switch it on, it really helps keep the coolant off the lens. Thanks for watching. We have more videos on the way, so be sure to subscribe.